This morning, a Rawson Reports update. It is, of course, the holiday season where you're likely going to plenty of parties, maybe having a little bit too much to drink. It's always great to take a car service like Uber or Lyft to get home, right, rather than driving under the influence. But of a warning on that. Across the country, there have been multiple cases of assaults by people posing as legitimate drivers. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson conducted a real-life test that'll make you stop and think before stepping into those cars. You're leaving the movies, the restaurant, a bar, anywhere, and you want to get home. So you order an Uber and hop in. But one mistake. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, my God. Could cost you. Cases popping up all over the country. The hunt for a fake, the fake Uber, Uber driver. Drivers have spiked nationwide. It happened to Carla Westland last year. I just saw a car out on the street that looked like an Uber. But it wasn't really your Uber. No. No, it was not my Uber. The driver and Uber imposter had been waiting outside this club. I literally woke up to him in the back seat with me. We're parked somewhere, and he's just banging my head against the seat. And he sexually assaulted you? Yes. For hours? For three hours, yeah. Think this couldn't happen to you? Think again. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We have this car here that looks like a pretty typical Uber X. Police across the country say what these fake drivers are doing is literally on their home printers, printing out what looks to be an Uber logo. So we did the same thing on our office computer, and they put it right inside the windshield. So that's what we're doing, too. That way, when you come out of a bar or a restaurant, you're not paying attention. You don't do the right things to confirm this is really your Uber. They can drive off and do whatever they want, including assaulting you. So I am going to park outside of popular bars and restaurants here in the L.A. area tonight into the overnight hours when things get pretty late. And we're going to see who comes in here. We have the entire car wired with about five different cameras, and we're going to give them advice and you at home about how not to become the next victim. Right away. Anna? Yes. Come on in. These two friends fall for it. You guys just got into a fake Uber. That's right, these women got right in, even shutting the door without checking if it was the right Uber. What? what? Passenger. How you doing? Fine. After passenger. How are you guys? Hopping in our car. We're fine, how are you? Men. Cheers, mate. How are you? Good, how are you? And women. How are you? Good. All thinking it's their Uber. How are you? Good, how are you? As the night wears on and the drinks flow, out on the street, my car is parked, hazard lights on. And watch what happens when I tell them who I really am. My name is Jeff Rawson. I'm actually from the Today Show on NBC. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and you're on TV right now. No way. Can I tell what? you girls something? Yeah. My yeah. name is Jeff, and I work for NBC. Hi, Jeff. Nice and, to oh meet you. Oh, my God, are we on camera? You're are on camera live? right now. Oh, we're, we are. We're when the surprise wears off, the sobering no. reality sets in. Anything. You walked up and you gave me your name, and I just said yes. Yeah. You oh you God. gave it all away. But and now, if I were a bad guy, I could drive you off somewhere. I could lock the doors. And rape us. Yes. You guys just got into a fake Uber. Oh, my God. And think about if I were a bad guy. I'm one of the good guys. Yeah. No, like, drive... you're gone. Like, if you have a gun, like, there's nothing I could do. You'd be gone. You're trapped. I'm done. I'm done for. So how can you prevent this from happening to you? I'm giving my passengers some tips. On the app. Yeah. Check the license plate before you get in. Match the yeah. license plate on the car True. to the actual car. Yeah. And check to make sure the person behind the wheel looks like your driver's photo in the app. Always confirm on the app the driver's name and picture. Okay. And the final tip, don't yes. give away your name. Ask the driver who they are picking up. These girls did the right thing. What are you picking up for? They don't get in, but these guys do. Never ever give your name away. Yeah. Make them say your name. Say, hey, who are you here for? Yeah. Make them say your name so you know they're there. Like, Thank you so much. You got it. Keeping you safe and sound the next time you hop in an Uber. Could you still take us to our destination? I, I, I can't. I'm not a real Uber driver. <laughs> I give you a rose. Thank you very much. <laughs> and here's a bonus tip. In the app, Uber now has an emergency 911 button directly connecting you with police if you need them. For today, Jeff Rawson, NBC News. Wow, I learned so much from that piece. I always check the license plate. Check the license plate, or you say, who are you here to pick up? If right. you say you're here for Peter, then they'll just say yes. Doesn't help them out there.